Hello and welcome back to Game of Thrones mod for Crusader Kings 2. So, we are, uh, we're getting a lot of training posts built. We also went on a nice expedition last time, got some more money. We're just going to kind of sit on it and uh, let our money tick up for a little bit. Oh, what have we got here? One child lacks an education focus. This is Winifred Serpentail, who's uh, currently being educated by Asha Drum, uh, who is Winifred's aunt. Wait, uh, no, our niece, uh, Winifred's mother. Okay, that's it. Uh, so, what would Asha educate Winifred with? Well, she's kind of into martial and a little bit into stewardship. What's Winifred into? A little bit into martial, a little bit into stewardship. So, how about a martial education? I mean, that's not too bad. There we go. And we'll let that go on. At least we weren't asked money for it. Still have that dangerous faction going on? Yeah, oh, and someone else joined it. Stefan Greatrion. Okay. Uh, he's upset by succession law change. Oh, we didn't change succession law, though. Um, okay. Weird. Lord uh, Cor Corliss of the Rose Road has inherited the High Lordship of the Rose Road and other titles from Lady Tanda of the Rose Road. So Lady Tanda is dead. She, d she was probably murdered. Probably by Lord... Uh, Corliss, or someone uh, who was working for Lord Corliss. Uh, Alright. Well, that's uh, definitely interesting. And she was the one whose mother had the dragon as well. Maester Theon has arrived at our court. Uh, he is infirm, but apart from now, he's a very competent maester. Um, yes. Now, is there anything else that we're thinking that we need to do? Oh, they have, they have approved the institution of the Regulated Inheritance Law. Okay, so they've changed inheritance law back so that um, it, they changed it last episode so it went to free, and that meant that it did not have any regulate, like it could leave the realm, and now they've changed it back to being illegal, so it has to stay within the realm. Vicon Serpent Hill, I invite you to pay the iron price by joining me on a reaving across the seas of the disputed lands. I, just, I promise we will gain many salt wives and much plunder, as in the ways of old. So we could, we could join them, I think we will. I just want to check one thing first, is our Republic here. I want to see how close we are to uh, getting actually... Um... Oh wait, they have a trade post, cool. Um, I want to see how close we are to uh, becoming in charge. We're not that close, but we're, we're, we're reasonably close. That's not too bad. Apparently it's something like age squared plus two times your prestige plus five times your campaign fund. So... Uh... That's what, where our respect number comes from. So maybe, yeah, going on this will actually make us more likely to uh, get the right inheritance as well. Yeah, I'll join them. My liege, your wisdom and mercy are legendary. I have been appointed as your regent. Cool. Well, that's good. Who, uh, like, uh, who's coming with us on this weaving? Uh, are we not set out yet? I don't think we've set out yet. Oh, why? How did we get so much money? I just looked away for like 10 seconds and then it's like, oh, you, you just have a, a, a couple thousand gold? Wait, where did that income come in from? Is that all our trade post? According to this, we only made 88 extra. I, wait, that doesn't add up, right? I'm gonna need to go back and watch the, uh, like watch the video. I'm also gonna watch that income number very carefully from now on. We were definitely only had like 200 gold, and now we have 2,000 gold. That is ticking up quite quickly. Um, use some dragon stone, your excellency. A new dragon sent to the world. Sierra Sunblast has apparently successfully hatched one. It's named the He-Dragon Denal. Okay, good for her. Yes. Oh, we're making a fair amount of cash. I don't think we're we should be making that much, but anyway, that's fine. Hagen Marin's decision to attack a merchant fleet was sound. The fleet was fairly well defended. We lost a few men seizing their ships as well as taking some damage to our longships. But in the end, no one can resist our ironborn reavers and much cargo as well as many captives were taken. Price well paid. Ah, good. Some more money. Lord Osbert the Terrible has declared the revolt against the rule of Lord Corliss of the Rose Road on Lord Corliss of the Rose Road. So the Varners have declared against the Celticars. All the Celticars may have a dragon. So that might not be as uh, close a fight as you might think. The men were enjoying a hard day's drink after a good day's reaving when Dagmar of Corpse Lake challenged Hagen Maring 
who was boasting of his reaving exploits to a finger dance. Dagmar was clearly unwise in his challenges. Hagen caught and dodged the axes far more ably. Dagmar eventually submitted after losing a few fingers. That was a good contest. Okay, he's also a lunatic, so I guess that makes sense why he would challenge someone to a finger dance. Uh, Jean Martel died a natural death. Um, she was married to the Storm King Emin of the Stormlands. And her son is currently the Storm King of the Stormlands. Iron King Lancel of the Iron Alice has formed an alliance with the Triarch uh, Dagar of Volantis. Oh, who is a dragon rider, I just noticed. What dragon does he ride? He rides Harris into battle. Okay. I don't like that our liege is uh, friends with a dragon rider, who is also favoured by Rylor. This seems like a very bad, bad situation. Now, I just remembered, we are friends with the, the prince that we met on our trading expedition. Um, we could offer an alliance, couldn't we? Form alliance. Uh, is close relative or has a non-aggression pact? Can we not get a non-aggression pact with him? No? I guess we have to get someone to marry him if we wanted to do that. Uh, ask to embargo. Oh, right. So I could ask him to embargo Mir. He would say no, but... Oh, that's interesting. Offer... Yeah. Offer 2,000 gold to sweeten the deal. Oh, oh yeah. Sure. I guess that means they would start a war. It's kind of like in Civilization where you would say, Hey, can you start a war with this person? We will give you X amount of cash to get it started. Okay. Hagen Maring's decision to attack a fishing village produced a fight that was hard fought and a few of our men were lost. But none can withstand the might of the Ironborn. We have claimed our Iron Price today, winning our plunder from these weak people. Good, more gold. This day I've proved myself a true Iron Islander. I've captured a salt wife. What shall be done with her? Well, I'll keep her. We get. We now have a salt wife called Roga. Uh, there we go. Roga. She uh, is a follower of the Trios uh, three handed god religion. And she's Tairoshi. Okay, cool. And we'll keep going. We have a lot of cash, like a ton of cash. Do we have the max number of trade posts yet? Uh, I think we're building another one in here, weren't we? Yeah, so we're not, we haven't quite got the max number, but we can't build any more. King Arson of Westeros cleared the Westerosi Sweetport Sound uh, de jure war over Dragonstone Lady Mega of Sweetport Sound. Now, Lady Mega of Sweetport Sound, in case you've forgotten, is the person we put in charge, and she has a dragon. So this is going to be fun. Yeah, Westeros versus the dragon. Your determination and hard work is paid off. Studying with Master Urish, you've learned several new languages to a decent level of fluency. This will surely increase your prestige at foreign courts. I knew I could do it. So we get diplomacy and learning. Fantastic. We're becoming a little bit smarter. Lord Osbert the Terrible accepted Lord Corliss of the Rose Roads peace offer. Yes, the Varner lost uh, to the dragon. He did not manage to defeat it. Some favours being called in, things like that. Uh, Hagen Maring's raid upon a fishing village was a resounding failure. The men of the fields were much stronger than we thought. Many of our reavers were slain, and the dishonour we had brought upon the Ironborn is plain to, s plain to see. Oh no. During the attack by our reavers, I was somehow wounded by one of the enemy, but the Ironborn laugh in the face of flesh wounds, surely. Yeah, they, they laugh in the face of fle flesh wounds. We will reave some more. The Reaving Party had been roving the coast when a local patrol headed by Tormo of Vilnius attacked. We of course easily butchered these people, but the glory surely belongs to Victarian Serpentail, who bested Tormo in single combat, swinging the battle in our favour. He now expects it to be rewarded. So he managed to beat someone who was a little bit worse at fighting than he was, but still impressive. Good for him, and hopefully our leader of our Reaving Party will, will reward him. The wall is under assault as hard pressed to defend it. Uh, the Night's Watch hard pressed to defend it. They have called upon all lords of the realm to take up arms and defend and aid them in defending the realm from the dangers beyond the wall. Uh, no. That will cost us money. Devon Bar Emin is no longer a participant in the war because he's no longer Lord Commander because he is. I have no idea why he's no longer Lord Commander. Alright. That's fine. Whatever. There is a new Lord Commander on the wall. There is Lord Commander Danwell. Okay. Cool. The men were enjoying a hard uh, enjoying a hard drink after the day's reaving when Dagnar of Corpse Lake challenged another person. He challenged Grey Worm, who was boasting of his reaving exploits to a finger dance. Dagmar was clearly unwise in his challenges. Grey caught and dodged axes far more ably. Dagmar eventually submitted after losing a few fingers. He's not going to have many fingers left soon. My young kinsman has finished his education in military strategy and command. 
it seems he has learned all the basic skills required. Very good, he's a dutiful commander and he's quite good at fighting. Ah, very well done, uh, Stefar. The reaving party had been roving the coast when a local patrol headed by Lotho of Latnir attacked. We of course easily butchered these people, but the lorry surely belongs to Stefar Serpentail, who bested Lotho in single combat, swinging the battle in her favour. He now expects to be rewarded. Ayan, a not a very good fighter, was beaten by a quite competent fighter this time. Good for him, though. Lord Corliss of the Rose Road revoked the Lordship of uh, Roseford from Sir Osbert the Terrible. So the Varners no longer hold Lo's, uh, Lordship of Roseford, and Lord Corliss holds all of it. Okay. Well, that was expected after they declared a war on him. Has the Reach always been that far into the Stormlands? Also, just do my uh, every every so often check. Ah, I don't have them as special interest. Uh, I do have him as special interest, but that might explain why I didn't spot all of these things. Uh, Westeros, uh, their capitals over here, special interest. Yep, just doing a quick double check. That's ourselves. Why would we need to set ourselves a special interest? I hope that we get all the pop-ups about ourselves. Uh, right in there. Right, and then up north. There we go. We didn't have everybody a special interest. And there's Quent Bowl is now in charge. And if he dies, it's actually going to go to a stain. Cool. Uh, Hagen Maring's decision to attack a merchant fleet was sound. The fleet was fairly well defended. We lost a few men seizing our ships as well as taking some damage to our longships. But in the end, no one can resist the Ironborn Reavers. And much cargo as well as many captives were taken. Good. Today I proved myself a true Iron Islander. I've captured a salt wife. Well, I'll keep her as well. We are greedy after all. Serini. I get another Tairoshi. All right. That's fine. The reading party had been roving the coast when a local patrol headed by Dario of Byloth attacked. We of course easily butchered these people, but the lorry surely belongs to Grey Worm, who defeated Dario in single combat, swinging the battle in our favour. He now expects to be rewarded. Dario again, not very good. Oh no, it, ah, it doesn't add up the dual skill if they're not alive. Ah, okay. So he was about uh, four. I think that's the only one that gives any dual skill multiplier. Yeah, he's about four. Against Grey Worm's 18, so... Yes, good for him. He was much better at fighting. Cool. Auto save going on. Uh, the reading party in Roving the Coast were a local patrol headed by Air Aereo of the Disputed Forest attacked. We, of course, e easily butcher these people, but the glory surely belongs to Stefar Serpentail, who once again beats someone in single combat. Uh, swing the battle in our favour. He now expects to be rewarded. Aereo was um, a reasonable fighter, but not nearly as good as uh, Stefar, who was. About twice as good. Trade post has been built in Old Oak. Good. That uh, should maybe give us a trade zone and start to make these things a little bit better. Oh, that was a lot of shouting. I just want to check our trade zone first. Uh, okay, so it didn't, but maybe in a little bit it will. Your excell Excellency, His Grace Arson has taken his last breath. May he repose in peace. Now his heir, Princess Layla Sigwart, will take the throne and will rule the Seven Kingdoms henceforth. So he was... He died in battle against Lady Mega. Oh, so Lady Mega killed him with a dragon. Oh, wow. Um, so, who is now in charge? Uh, it is Queen Layla. Oh, right. And she's currently in hiding. Well, I understand why. Oh, wait. Okay, Vicken Serpentil is now known as Iron Reaver. Village was right for pillaging, and Hagen Marin's attack was a roaring success. Screams of the peasants and cackle of fire with sweet music to the Reaver's ear. We have much plunder and plunder and honor this day. I keep meaning to not. I keep trying to pause it because I think keep thinking it's one of these events that also pauses and unpauses. But anyway, we'll move it to the side while I go back to get the uh, notice of one. So Damon Wilson has arrived at our court. I thought he was already at our court, but I guess he's at our court again. Uh, maybe he left our court and then came back. This is a little bit weird. And a son was born to Wallace Weber and Brella the Unfaithful named Desmond, who is a bastard. Ah, that'd be why she's Brella the Unfaithful, because she... What? Wait. Okay, so it wasn't born to Wallace Weber. I get it. Uh, the pillaging and looting undertaken in your name has earned your reputation as a fearsome armborn raider. All on the coast of Westeros, mothers talking to the children... Uh, in for the night, warn that unless they behave, the terrible Vicon, Scourge of the Seas, will come ashore for his undead warriors and eat them. I like the sound of that. They'll be known as Ironheart. Oh, that's a cool name. Uh, okay, lots of people are no longer participating in the wall fight. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. 
Right, the wall is under assault, the Night's Watch is hard pressed to defend it, they've called upon all lords of the realm to take up arms and aid them in defending the realm against the dangers beyond the wall. No. Definitely not. Definitely not. Some favours being called in. Alright. Nothing too big, I hope. Dale Serpentel has come to be a great companion. We have raided and pillaged together, we have slain many men in battle side by side, and feasted together in celebration of a reaving well done in the true spirit of the Iron God. So our friend is now Lord Master Dale. Oh, a uh, son was born to Ares Targaryen and Vela the Dragon Tamer named uh, Lana as well. And she is attractive. Cool. Um, now, we are friends with Dale. My first thought here is that perhaps this would mean that we would name him our heir over uh, Roderick. Although Roderick certainly has the age helping him out in this respect thing. Which does help quite a lot because it's age squared. Um, hmm. Yeah. I mean, we could nominate Dale, but he wouldn't have a single, he wouldn't have a hope in hell of actually uh, taking the, uh, like, you know, Taking it. And he does have his own house, I suppose. His own se his separate house, Serpent Tail. Talking of house, we could upgrade our house if we wanted. Um, but again, I don't feel like... I feel like we're too greedy to do that. Like, I feel like we would upgrade it maybe on a character who wasn't as greedy. Uh, Grey Worm died uh, from a grievous disfigurement. Oh, okay. So Grey Worm is dead. He had two children, Cersei of Nath and Kozar of Nath. Both of whom uh, have gone on to do other things. And he is, of course, no longer our chief general, as he is dead. And that means we also need a bodyguard. So, Master of Arms. Who are we going to have? We could have Gale, who now has a very funny headdress on. Um, she's quite good at it. She could do the job. Although, we do want her to be leading our armies. So, we probably want to give it to Orion, be my guess. Um... Unless we have a powerful vassal, uh, he's not really good enough. We'll give it to Ryan. He also wants to become Master of Arms, which definitely puts him higher. I don't know why she doesn't. She wants to become Master of Whispers for some reason. Um, but there we go. Ryan Time is going to be our Master of Arms, and he is going to train our troops, I think. Wait, do we have any? We have a son, actually, so he can go and train children. Cool. Uh, did that didn't work, did it? No, it did not. There we go. Right. How many men do we have? We have about 4,000. That's not too bad, actually. Hagen Maring has come to be a great companion. We have raided and pillaged together. We have slain many men in battle side by side and feasted together in celebration of reaping well done in the true spirit of the Iron God. We are now friends of Hagen Maring. No, I'm just checking how old we are. We're 33, so there's not, we're not really going to die anytime soon, so we don't need to worry about succession. Hagen Maring fearlessly decided to attack a merchant flotilla and the enemy crews were no match for the Ironborn. We sank their poorly manned escort, seized their cargo, and slew two cats of many men. This is why we follow the old way. Oh yeah, I forgot to put uh, a new bodyguard. Uh, a sworn sword. Oh no, it is bodyguard in this one. Uh, who are we going to make our bodyguard? Well, let's go for High Marshal. Good to give it to Orion. I kind of want somebody who we trust here. We don't really trust him. Uh, we trust Rala. And she is a dragon rider and is currently wielding Blackfire. You know, that seems like a good option. We'll go with Rala, the dragon tamer. Okay, we also have some other things we could put in if we wanted to. Um, I don't know if we necessarily want to. Uh, oh, the high judge adjudicates some important trials. Oh, that's interesting because that means that... We I think this means that you can have... Um, What's it called? You can have a different Master of Laws, or is it it's High Steward? High Steward. You can have a different one of those than you have High Judge. Oh, cool. Which case, um, we probably want to get a High Diplomacy person in here to be our judge, right? Uh, it's, how about Stefar Gratrion? I mean, he is zealous, which is kind of against us, but we don't necessarily hate him, and he is a powerful vassal. Here we go. It's Steph our great Trion. We'll give him a chance as judge. Not that we have that many trials, but there we go. Are we going to only righteously imprison one person? That's fine. We'll lose all the titles on succession. That's also fine. Oh, your kinsman, Victorian Serpentil, has died. And it now falls to you whether to decide to make the funeral a big and special event or keep it small and private. Now, he is the son of our heir, Roderick Hardhand. So, you know what? We'll give him a funeral. He was slain by Thoros of uh, Lothar in personal combat. So, 
he was he faced somebody who was better at fighting than he was and finally fell. Eh, we'll invite just the family. Yeah, we'll still be stingy about it. Uh, Lord Magister Vicon Ironheart accepted a call to arms from Lord Hagen of Pike against Lord Theomore of Saltcliffe. Due to the alliance, uh, Lord Magister Vicon Ironheart had no other choice. Oh, I also didn't notice that we were in this war against uh, Lady Mega, who is about to lose. Yes, okay. So we now have to help hold uh, Pike for our uncle. Oh, we can do that. We'll raise our men. Um, I guess we'll raise our boats as well. Let's close that. Raise our boats down here. Actually, let's raise all of our boats. There we go. Then we'll get the men on the boats. Get the men on the boats. Get the men on the boats. There you get all the boats. And we'll bring them. Probably to Pebbleton. One of my fellow reavers has come to be a great companion. We have raided and pillaged together. We have slain many men in battle side by side and feasted together in celebration of the reaving well done the true spirit of the Iron God. We have become friends with Bob Bobber. Alright then. We shall remember this. The invitations for the funeral have been sent to the lords and ladies of the realm. And uh, it's time to prepare the feast and the funeral itself. Lady Mega of Sweetsport Sound accepted Queen Layla of Westeros' peace offer. Um... So she is now underneath Westeros. Cool. Master Urus uh, was just slain by Tormo of uh, Nymelior, a different Tormo, but he was a good fighter. And Master Urus, I believe, was not only our father in law, but was also our friend, so that's unfortunate. Master uh, Wolfgar of Tower of Glimmering has now taken over Tower of Glimmering. He is very, very good at fighting. Um. And we like him a little bit. Right, we now have a position for a new Master of Laws. Now, uh, we can give it to Duncan Snowfall. He wishes to become Master of Laws. Wolfgar isn't a good enough... Uh, like, isn't necessarily a fantastic person. Like, he's not a powerful vassal. But, he does want to also become it. And we like him. Which is the problem with Duncan Snowfall, is we really don't like him. So, I guess we'll give it to Wolfgar. His father also held the position, so it kind of makes sense. And then, uh... Hmm. Do you want to maybe fabricate claims? And if we fabricated on Orc Mount, we would be able to take that back... We would be able to take that underneath our realm. We are a bit greedy, so we'll do that. Or Orc Mount. Anyway, it doesn't matter how you pronounce it. Uh, we can press the claim on the Castle of Cod Hall for Steph or Serpent Tail. It's not going to do that either, but that's interesting that we could. Uh, wait for our men to merge up. Merge them all. Uh, yeah, the the other person wasn't our bodyguard or anything. That's fine. There we go. Merge them up. And then we will uh, make sure we have the right leaders in. Gale. We'll also have Rala. And we'll have... Um, who do we want? Probably we want John. There we go. Then we'll move them into Pike to defend. That's fine. Um, all the guests start arriving in Harlow Hill. It's now time to start the feast to celebrate the life of Victorian Serpent Hill. Hagen Maring's weaving has come to an end. We have returned from across the narrow sea after getting much plunder and capturing many salt wives. We are true ironborn. Right. Now, I forgot because I had to uh, stop the recording halfway through that um, this is uh, the second half of an episode, so I'm going to end it here. Thank you for watching, and next time we will finish this war. See you then. Goodbye.